Would you want to drive the next season of Unicorn vs. the World? Yes. You might be wondering how we got here. Unicorn vs. the World was such a success that we figured we definitely had to do it again. But with Ken leaving Ford, it opened a big question of who was going to drive the Unicorn. Me! 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 Obviously, we figured we'd keep it inside the Hoonigan family. I was thinking more inside. Bye, of course you were. <laughs> Obviously made more sense instead of any of us driving it for Ken's 14-year-old daughter to drive a 1400 horsepower monster. As cool of an idea it was, first, we had to tell Leo. You remember most of your dad's cars, right? Which one was your favorite in the group? I always really liked the Raptor tracks. What? <laughs> How about Huna truck or Huna corn? Huna corn. All the way. Hands down, all the, way. all the way. Would you want to drive that thing? Yes. <laughs> Are you like afraid of maybe that thing being too fast for uh, you? Not at all. No. All right. Should I get, should I get into it? Yeah. All right. Oh boy. So we were thinking as an opportunity for you, for something to do, that we would let you drive one of your dad's cars, but in a competitive fashion, racing the unicorn. <laughs> really? Yeah. Did you watch Unicorn vs. the World? Uh huh. Yeah, so would you want to drive the next season of Unicorn vs. the World? Yes. <laughs> Not even a hesitation. <laughs> Stoked? Yeah. So it's like a few months away. Yeah. You're doing the <laughs> thing. <laughs> All right, Leah, it's your turn to, you got to come on camera now. <laughs> so you've had a little bit of time for driving the Unicorn to sink in, right? Like you've been able to think about it now. What are like, what are your biggest concerns? I don't know. Beating people. <laughs> <laughs> that competitive spirit. Because you, you've done a you've done a bunch of other cars recently. I mean, Vaughn Gittin Jr. taught you to drift. Dad taught you to drive the Mark II Escort. <laughs> so you started racing 11. 11 yeah. And what was that doing? Uh, I was racing the Lucas Oil Off-Road Short Course in a 570 race. By the way, I just want to point out your dad's favorite moments of you racing UTVs was you rolling. Because you would roll and we would get the group chat of like, check it out, she's my daughter. <laughs> you are the fire. The first time she rolled, I watched the onboard and I realized all she had to do was turn in a little and put her right back down. Because she's just driving too aggressively. Weird, a block driving too <laughs> aggressively. Yeah, Alright, so you just came off of actually your ending your card season. Right? So, how'd that go? It went good. I definitely learned a lot through my first fall season. I got to race two classes, a two-stroke and a four-stroke. I struggled a bit in the two-stroke because it's obviously a lot faster and the kids have been started since they were very yeah, young. Karting starts at like, like five years old. Yeah, like kick carts. Like, it looks like they're like 25 miles per hour. But um, in the four stroke, I raced that last year. Um, I did pretty well in that one. I only raced three, three, uh, three rounds out of the other one, but I did. I won every single one of those. But I'm pretty humble sure. brag. And your dad was telling me that there was your first time ever in karting. You completely missed the corner because you didn't understand the difference of turning at 20 miles an hour versus turning at like 60, 70. Miles. And that's a big point with drag racing and driving the unicorn. You're going from sliding around and controlling at 20 miles an hour to then drag racing it to 180 miles an hour. I think that that example of when she was young, she only drove slow and then all of a sudden she was given the chance to drive fast on an actual karting track. Corner one. All the input straight into the grass. You've had a bunch of experience on dirt, you've had some experience on pavement, and now we just need to teach you to drive in a straight line, which sounds easy. Yeah, sure. This is the start of us getting this process going. We had to change the car to make it safe for her. Yep. Uh, and the training to get her there to be very safe. So we're gonna go through and have you work with a bunch of our different friends from Leah Pruitt, Hank Iroz, the guy who almost beat Ken in the last one who versus the world. Dog Master, gonna teach you how to cheat. Because that he comes from the street wow. racing And the side. trash talk. Well, trash talk is part of cheating because it's getting into someone's head. It's like psyops. So basically what you're saying is teaching your 14 year old me how to cheat but not get caught. Yeah, this sounds really bad <laughs> when she says it back, but yeah, let's delete the word cheating and replace it with finding a competitive advantage. 
after all that, it'll be like a month or so of training, and then we get to see you test the unicorn. And at that point, you got no choice but to race it. Yeah! <laughs>all right so we're here today at zmax dragway with the other leah what's happening guys what are going to be the main things we teach leah today main things we teach leah today consistency and what to expect in drag racing you can't do anything to make your car go faster or quicker in drag racing but you can do a lot of things to mess it up Pretty cool, track's right there. So this mechanism, what I use it for, actually sometimes I put tape over mine and so I don't look at the actual number. Yeah. I get more obsessed with just the repetition of seeing the light, seeing the light, and the more I get better at that, then I'll go and I'll look at my times and then I'll see what can I do differently. But when it comes to the arm drop, we're gonna work on your right foot and your left brain. <laughs> You know what it's like to try harder and harder and you might get worse and worse? If you become obsessed with the number, it's not a good plane ride home. <laughs> See, look at that, 054. So what were you looking at there? Were you watching me stage over there? No. Nope, just focused right in your lane. Look at that, 037. Uh, look at you. <laughs> All right, so what's next? I want to go drive cars. So Leah, I realize this is like kind of a pop quiz because now you've gone from Leah Peru came to teach you some things to now you're doing a license test, right? Yeah, surprise. <laughs> but then you get to leave here with your junior license. Nice. And you can go down to Las Vegas Motor Speedway and go run some cars. Make some money. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, buddy, real quick. Ready, one, two, three. Very good. Race options, and we'll put it in drive and activate line lock. You want to look, see where your tire's at? Are we outside the water? Yeah. Hold down, okay? All right. There we go. <laughs> and where'd she get that from? <laughs> Well, she just shaved two seconds off. She figured that out pretty quickly. How's it feel, Leah? It is fun. I want to go faster. That's how it starts. <laughs> oh, and the, like, her first question is, okay, so what do I need to do differently? And it's such an odd concept though, right? But not as fast and to walk on the pedal. Right. So that's what's You can what's start make... slower so that you can go faster kind of thing. <laughs> Gets her eyes from her mom and her send it from her dad. Look at this proud dad moment. He's just rewatching the burnout. I guarantee it's just the burnout. <laughs> there it is. Leah Pruitt was like, hopefully we get a 12-4 out of today. There's the 12-4. Thanks, Leah Pruitt. <laughs> oh, look at that printout. Amazing. All six of them. <laughs> <laughs> the last run. Yeah, that was that was the quickest and the fastest. Yep. No yeah. one's gonna point out that it was quicker than your run, but we're gonna point out that it might have been quicker than your run. Yeah, that's okay. We can we can 
can circle back to that and go, I don't really care. I'm just <laughs> she did a phenomenal job adapting to whatever we were putting in. Improvements every time. I know a lot of people that don't look near as comfortable as she did. Amazing. <laughs> Good job, Leah. Yeah. And what do you say to your teacher? Thank you, Leah. Uh, <laughs> I have a drive license before I have a driver's license. That's a good brag. <laughs> Signature makes it official. Little Leah gets her junior drag license. Yeah, for the record, I don't think I've ever been a supervising adult on anything. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. Yay! Congratulations. We do have time. Well, we get in it real quick. Woo! Watch your head. Woo! <laughs> How's the box office feel? <laughs> it feels great. so far can you can you hear what I'm saying can you hear anything? Yeah. <laughs> if given the option would you drive this <laughs> yeah she's got that gene <laughs> What'd you learn? I want to go fast. And you want to go fast? Do you think this helped you? I mean, it was more thinking about actually keeping the traction and going forward than like actually looking at the light. You gotta get the launch before you actually get your reaction time down. So what's next? You tell me. I think next is we teach you how to do a little smack talk and how to negotiate a street race. Oh yeah. <laughs> Using your resources. Using your resources, aka cheating. That's next. We don't say that though. Today we were at my buddy Donk Master's spot in and out customs. Donk Master is definitely one of the more aggressive and skilled trash talkers in the business. I'm about to pat the game, but I ain't want to disrespect my elbow. What I flick off? For what? Which one's the slower car? Uh, ain't no slow cars here. <laughs> <laughs> Sage, I just explained like what your job today is to teach her the ins and outs, negotiation, trash just talking, just on money. it, yeah, yeah. yeah, and like and then like just how to get in people's heads. <laughs> we explained this the other day. There's no such thing as cheating. No, nope. it's using your resources. Using your resources. That's exactly and sometimes right. like jump. So before we get into negotiation, all that, why don't we just give Leah a tour? This one got a 120 something millimeter turbo, 3V LS427, makes about 1600, almost about to the tie. Today it makes 1600. Don't listen Tomorrow it makes 1800. <laughs> and it, maybe it makes 1100. But this one on a 24 inch custom made slick. So what that you're saying is the Hunicorn made you go make those tires. I don't know what the Hunicorn made me do, but it made me <laughs> learn something, I know that. I got a, a, a grenade and I got a grenade launcher. I like this up here. Uh-huh. That's gap saw. We're Special obviously. formula. Special. And we got a, we got the big mother bottle of gap saw there that we fill the other bottles with. Gap sauce is a word that I coined and trademarked to where I get I gap them with style. Yeah. And I drip sauce on them whenever I do it. Hey, gap saw. He says no saw on them. I'll let you do your regional stuff and then I'll correct you and tell you what's right for you. That's, that's what you're saying. You how fast the car again? Okay. I, I wouldn't tell you. See, see, I I when they start the bubbling and stumbling, you already got them. Hit them. Pow! Just like that. Stop them right in the track. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't be giggling. You gotta be focused. You gotta focus. <laughs> so whenever you try to negotiate a race and say you want to run head up, that means side by side. Mm -hmm. Say if you want the brake or you ask for something first, they automatically think you'll call it slow. Like explain to her what the brake means. 
Okay, so the break would mean if y'all run the head up, and the break would mean you get the lead first. So if you race in New York, we call it the head. Hey, I'm walking here. You maybe do rolling races. It's a game of trying to get the other person to be in the wrong position in the power band. Everyone's gonna say, yeah, yeah, 30 mile an hour roll. Yep, and then one person's gonna do a 45 mile an hour mm -hmm. roll, the person's gonna do a 19 mile an hour roll. Yep. It's all about where their boost is hitting. Just be really patient until you get them to do what you want them to do, instead of them trying to get you to do what they want to do. The more confident you are with people about uh -huh. it, they'll be like, oh, you can also psych people out the other way. And you're like, I really need this first race. Like this car, you'd be like, damn, yeah. I'm gonna need at least a car or so. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about like a walk around. The cars are similar. So say we don't race it and we both got big wheels on the car. I'm gonna look, see the size of the motor he got. I look at any kind of weight reduction. And then once they crank it up, I smell for fuel. I know if you run the methanol, Q16, C16, pump gas, E85. They all smell totally different. Just like that, I can tell about how fast that car goes. And the one thing he didn't say, because almost everyone in dog racing runs nitrous, uh, is yeah. like, you want to look for the bottle? Uh, there might not be a bottle yeah. you found that doesn't mean that they don't have it. Even though she's not going to be running nitrous, um, her competitor is. Yeah. So like, just because you're in front, doesn't mean no. you're going to stay in front. What's the most you've raced for? The most I ever raced on? You over, say it on camera. Uh, over 100,000. Yeah. yeah, we yeah. won though. They came here barking a big old bark, but they didn't know they'd run up on the shark. We ain't in the yard, we in the water. You know what I <laughs> mean? They always out there, y'all the big dog on the porch, but jumping in this water. I'm gonna show how deep it is. So you taking notes? She like a MacBook right now. She programming. She yeah. downloading <laughs> data. Make sure you get Scott to get in the front seat of a real rocket. <laughs> Guys, with your convertibles, it's cute. It's cute with your convertibles. Don't get nervous, Leon. It's all over professional. So th this is a gap sauce, right? So now she learned from me the don't mess You know what I mean? I had to teach her how to get people gap sauce and how to do it, when to do it, how to talk trash and all that before I give it to you. You know what I mean? I had to talk with your daddy, right? You almost to the age where you can start dating and the fellas will come after you and all that. I got a beautiful daughter just like you, right? So they will come at you, they will come to you. But for me, right, you got to promise to me, right? As a father, before you go on a date, you got to take him on the first date, right? You know what you need to take them to? You need to take them to Gabba Beach. You need to order them a Gabaroni and make sure they wash it down with this Gap sauce. You can do that for me? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's always a good time. Oh, buddy. yeah, for sure. We'll Thank you, man. We are out here at Exotics Racing in Las Vegas. We're trying to get Leah some real world testing. There is only one person that we could call. How's it going? For those of you that don't know, you may have seen him on a lot of episodes that we've done in the past. Possibly Unicorn versus the World. I mean, technically he beat me. <laughs> <laughs> he brought us an arsenal out here to help you do some real fast straight line all wheel drive stuff. Oh, wait. All right, what's the game plan for today? We're starting with that, yep. right? We can start out at 500 horsepower on the great car, and then we'll just keep going up maps until it's not fast enough and she wants to move on, or she says it's terrifying. But based on what I, I've heard of her so far, she's just gonna keep asking for more. <laughs> <laughs> So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the first car here. This is a 2018 Audi RS3. It has that wonderful dual clutch seven speed transmission. We're running a 64 millimeter turbo on this guy. They make about 900 horsepower all the way turned up. For this first one, I'm gonna just get, show you the max power. For these cars, you just push it down and then put it into manual, and then you have your foot on the brake. You'll see it go up to an RPM and then it will drop back a little. Once it drops back a little, it's ready to launch. And that's it, you don't need to shift gears, you don't need to do anything. Only thing you need to do is just be straight. <laughs> Just like 
mic took off and ripped it. <laughs> what have you learned so far? No fast. <laughs> Perfect. You're doing great. Well, she told me that she's never been in a race car that has AC, so she wants to know if we're willing to trade this car for the Hunicorn. Probably not. <laughs> I mean, that AC is blowing ice cold. This is our new venture. This is a V10. It's a 5.2 liter, but it is literally twice the engine that this is. So it's a really easy segue getting into the R8 because it has a seven speed transmission that has a very similar controller to the RS3. They're really, really fast. This car makes over 1500 wheel horsepower on E85 and it just bangs through gears. She's driving R8 with this much horsepower before I do. I don't know this <laughs> fair. Hey, hey, also, I was telling you guys, but this is actually one of my favorite cars ever. All right, this is Leah's first drive in this twin turbo R8. <laughs> Yo, that thing moves. <laughs> That's fast. That's real fast. Yo, this thing sounds sick. Yeah. It's so fun. What horsepower setting was that? that that's probably about a thousand horsepower. Okay. Only a thousand. This girl just doesn't care. She handles it like a pro. Uh, that's almost exactly how that unicorn is going to feel. If you think you can handle this, then I think you're in a good spot with the unicorn. I got it. I got it. You got it. that. This is probably the most terrifying grocery getter on the planet. The car's <laughs> lost about 200 pounds. My guess is this car is gonna go 772, 775 this year. It's a little over 1400 wheel horsepower. This thing's a monster. Are you scared? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ice in the veins. <laughs> This is the really important part about this car that you understand. You probably have bigger brakes on your mountain bike. That means that you just need to get on the brakes a lot sooner. And I'm not going to be by your side on this one. So this is kind of like the ultimate test. Oh, no Hank in the car? No Hank in the oh, car. Oh boy. This is a lot of trust. It is a lot of trust. <laughs> but I think you can handle it. dreams I thought a 14 year old was gonna be running the RS3 that thing's a monster My 14 year old driver, baby. <laughs> Man, I'm so impressed with her. That is awesome. I mean, she's done so well, but you know, like, I'm proud dad. So yeah. it's, like, it's hard for me to, like, put it in perspective. It helps that she has, like, that, like, gene of wanting to go fast. She said that so many times. Like, I love that feeling in my stomach, right? That's hard to find. A lot of people just don't like that feeling. She's she beast. seems to like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Straight into it. You want to go? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm so impressed. Fun? Yeah. <laughs> that was it. That was so fun. So you want to be like a rally driver? Or you want to be like a drag racer? A drag racer. Yeah, for sure.
We are here in the hot Las Vegas it's sun. Right now it's gonna get hot though. We, we got hurt yeah. with us. I've never been more jealous in my life. And hurt, I feel like you can concur. This is a vehicle that we all love. You love it. Whether you like it or not, I know you love it. This is the final boss of all vehicles. Today's the day that Leah gets to drive the Hoonicorn for the first time. That's right, the Hoonicorn. Are you stoked? Yes. Are you stoked? No. <laughs> I mean, the whole idea of putting a 14 year old in a 14 hour horsepower car, it was a great concept in the beginning, but now I still don't think she knows what's really coming. This is a dangerous car. <laughs> The plan. Well, the reason why we brought out the Kazu is she's done a bunch of straight line stuff and her only real drifting has been in rear wheel drive. I want her to get comfortable sliding around an all wheel drive car. Oh, bummer. Um, yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> we spent the time to design some really fancy suits. Alpine Stars put all the logos on, made it look real nice. Yeah. It's kind of wild to see a block on a race suit and it's not. Not 43? You. That's a kind of wild thing to see. kid now I think about stuff like this I know all you parents out there know it's a vibe it's time to make the donuts So can I. Ken gave her the, you, you gotta yank it. And she's learning a lot of things right now. Clutching and yanking the e-brake, getting back on throttle with the clutch done. Like, it's a lot, it's a lot of process. Drive it so, and having a quick talk, and now she's like, Okay, okay, that was, that was really good. You're smashing out there. I can't pull the handbrake. Yeah, yeah. I literally was doing the handbrake for her from the passenger seat. The unicorn will actually be easier for that, but I wanted more time in this to get more and more comfortable before we put her into 14 hour horsepower. Uh, but we did what we did, so that's the most we can get out of that. So now it's time to move on. This How was that? That was fun. Yeah. yeah. You are way too chill. <laughs> that was a good lesson, but now it's time to get serious. But before she does that, she doesn't actually know that much about this car. She needs to walk around and understand all the safety, what to do if something happens. What buttons to push? Buttons. Safety. Yeah. This is it! Game time. Ken makes this car look like the easiest car to drive. He makes it look effortless. But if you watch this versus that closely, 
It's a bad shit drive. It's either in her blood and she's a savage or her eyes are gonna pop. How was that? That was fun. Yeah, that first, looked good. First pulls. Yeah. <laughs> Look mean. Feels mean. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to do some launches on this next run? Yeah. Now we're just going to learn to go flat out. Sick. Well, go do good. Launch hard. Lots of limiter. No limiter. No limiter. No limiter. Yeah. No. Good. <laughs> All right. The final test of the day. Leah is going to take bad mamma jamma down this racetrack here. Get a feel for the speed. kind of scary. It's yeah. more scary that she's handling it so easily. <laughs> Hurts afraid of Leah. I am afraid. You are afraid of a 14 year old girl. She's stone cold. Stint 316 says I just whipped your ass. So every time she had more power, she did way better. <laughs> like father, like daughter. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> right? You did great. Next week, right? You comfortable? Yeah. I there think we you go. got this. All right, final test next week. Let's go, straight line power. All right, here we are, Santa Margarita Ranch. We've been doing prep to get Leah ready for this day in the Hoonicorn for a couple months now. So we started with drag race training with Leah Pruitt. We also moved into the art of negotiation, the nuances of trash talking your opponent with none other than Doc Master. Don't get nervous, Leah. And then from there, we went to the car that almost beat the Hoonicorn, Hank Iroz. <laughs> Ken taught Leah a lot about car control. And now today is going to be Leah's first pull on the legendary This Versus That track. Derek and I have worked out a very nice plan for her to get up to speed, be able to take some siding runs, then start some hand drop type runs. Victory Donuts. Thousand, uh, that's all she wants to <laughs> yeah. go straight to the donuts. Hold on, hold on. Not just donuts, <laughs> oh, but victory donuts. <laughs> She's already won in her head. This is so important. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna win. First off, 100 pounds lighter than you. We also are running on an actual race tire. We were, last time we ran on a street tires, so now we'll be running an actual race tire on a beadlock. And paddle probably makes it for a faster shift. And Derek just came over to me and whispered in my ear, there's even a little bit more power than there was last time if we need it. Oh man. You get no special treatment. And I don't get to drive at all either. No, oh, you just stay wow. Here, right? Now you know how we feel. It's always a good noise. Yo, it's just so crazy to look in the car and see Leah's face. Ah, it is. That's a 14 year old girl. 14 year old girl, yeah. 1400 14 horsepower. 100 horsepower per year. 100 horsepower per year. <laughs> you did the limit. You got the limits. You found it. Well, we did get the moment of, I don't like cars. Oh. <laughs> Was that left lane or right lane? Yeah, left lane. We could tell from back here the car gets a little squirrely over that bump. It's so. already 
already so gnarly just shifting it. That shifting it over that bump is not, not very fun. What's the top speed? 173. Faster than you went. <laughs> no, I think I got 180. No, not according to him. <laughs> Judy doesn't what lie. Did I get? 164. What? I don't think so. I'm gonna remember 180, that's what I recall. <laughs> Woo! Nervous moment. First time by yourself out there. That's, that's that's the launch you need though. You doing all right? That one's just me. I was just going towards the end. You see all the dust come up. So it's it's been a morning. We got some launches in. We got some full gear passes. Six gear. I heard you hit like 170 plus. 176. As I said, faster than you, pops. <laughs> anyway, well, Leah, we're so proud. Yeah. Very proud. We're so proud. Very proud. This is unreal. So you know what's next? There's only one, there's one thing that we haven't practiced yet today. Victory that she's... Donuts! Yeah! Training's done, now it's, I mean, she goes to bed tonight, wakes up tomorrow, and basically has to destroy people or get destroyed. <laughs> Maybe. With heavier competition than I am. Yeah. Way heavier yeah. yeah. competition. The we, internet barked back and we brought out the fastest cars we could find. That's it, all we Are have left is to show up tomorrow, we're wrapped. Are you ready, Leah? Yeah. All right, Whew. I think I did my job. <laughs> <laughs> Leah's a savage on that <laughs> Woo! Smoke.